Yeah. He grabbed cornstarch. No, he didn't. He grabbed cornstarch. Sis, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Okay. So picture this. <laughs> you're in the kitchen. Sis, you're in the kitchen throwing down, ready to follow this recipe to a T to impress your guest, show off your culinary skills, right? So you tell your mate to go grab some baking powder. Go to the store, give me some baking powder, please, right? And they come back with cornstarch. Wah, wah. That's going to affect the recipe, right? And that's like trying to eliminate fibroids with a surgery or a diet plan. You need the right ingredients, unless it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work without the right ingredients, right? It's not gonna work with the cornstarch. We need the baking powder, right? So I've got the recipe for you to prevent fibroid formation. I've got the recipe to prevent fibroid formation that I'm going to share with you on this live. Yes, simple foundation, okay? So trust me, you're gonna to wanna to share this video to, to every woman you know, because many women are walking around here, dancing, having a good time, and they got some things growing on their room and they have no idea what's going on. Clueless, so every woman needs to get in on this video. So share it, share the awareness, share the knowledge. Don't be stingy, right? Because we have that friend who has gotten a myomectomy, got the five boys removed, and then they grew right back. And she's like, oh my God, you know, my life, my world to be faced with fibroids yet again, right? And it's like another treatment. So let's get into this. In this live, I'm gonna share with you the recipe to prevent formate, uh, <laughs> to prevent fibroid formation, right? To prevent fibroids in this live, I'm gonna share with you, okay? So share this video. And we're gonna get into this. We got Play Cold, oh my gosh, she's here, Slim Thick. Weekday, Pretty Girl is also in the building. Lini Dave is also here. What's up, queens? Beautiful ladies, what's up? We got Holistic Peria, Berry Mama. She's in the building as well. Loretta's here. Oh my God, Drew's in the building. Hey, Drew. Awesome, awesome. So for those that don't know me, my name is Phyllis, founder of Five Boy Queen. I'm also a holistic nurse fitness coach, yoga, I mean, all of that to say this, I help women eliminate fibroid pain in less than 30 days without wasting time, money, energy on ineffective surgeries through my unique holistic program. Yes, that is me. So we are looking to get into this conversation of preventing fibroids at the root, at the cellular level, right? and. Again, share this video because we don't want to wait till it's a bigger problem, right? We have the information, right? Let's share it and let's act on it, right? So it's really time to start looking beyond a treatment and say, you know what? Let's eliminate fibroids at the cellular level. That's where it's at. That's where it's at, Play Cold. Play cold. Oh my gosh, she is going crazy in the comments. Let's go, sis. I love this energy. So share that, share this video to that friend that may be frustrated. Okay. She may be frustrated. Doctor keeps telling her the same thing over and over. She keeps doing it and still more scar tissue, you know, more roadblocks to fertility. Like, let's help her out. Share this video. Okay. So dealing with fibroids, uh, many are going to tell you to get a treatment, but treatment equals temporary. Treatment equals temporary. So the same person telling you to go get a treatment, oh my God, I have, there's fibroids growing in my body. Go get a treatment, get surgery, get drugs, do that. 
that person may not be aware that that is a temporary fix, a temporary fix, okay? That is a temporary fix so that they may, so they may not be aware that once you get them removed, they can grow back again where you, you're back in the same situation. So really where you get your information from is really crucial, okay? So where you get your information from is crucial. Now, on the flip side, some may tell you, you know what? There's no way you can get rid of fibroids naturally. There's nothing you can do. It's, it's only treatments, right? And that may be someone in a space of limited beliefs. They may be um, in the mindset of, you know what? It's this or that, right? So someone could be placing their fears, their limited beliefs upon you because they have been misinformed, confused, unaware that there's another way, a unique way to naturally get rid of fibroids where there may not be a need to repeatedly go through surgeries and surgeries, treatments that are ineffective, right? So I know for me, my doctor research never told me that I can eliminate fibroids naturally. I was never told that. I had to believe deep, deep, deep down inside that it was possible. And I did, and I went with my intuition. So just know that all research is not good research, right? And who you know, who has been able to heal themselves, able to lead women down this path of healing in, in any capacity, fibroids or not, you know, you wanna surround yourself around those people that are actually doing it and you can see, you have the evidence. That's really important. It's not gonna be just drinking some tea and thinking fibroids are going to disappear, no. It's not gonna be, uh, you know, just doing this, just doing that, right? So let's get into more of what it takes. What is the recipe, fibroid queen? You here talking all this, tell me what the recipe is. I got you, sis. I got you. Frenchie's Kitchen is in the building. What's up? Coco Accur, 83, yes. So this, all of this, this energy that I'm, I'm sharing with you, pouring into you right now, is what led me to create this, this mission of not only helping women eliminate fibroid problems, but leading them on a path, leading them on a path, a healing path to become better versions of themselves. So important because that disconnection with our inner self, our spirit, you know, our beliefs causes a lot of stress in the body. And that can add to fibroid development, yes. Dominique is in the building, passion, yes. The Murray Hayes, what's up? So let's get into this, y'all. What is the key? What's the key, Fiveway Queen? Okay, let me fill you in. So the key is doing healing practices in a sequenced way, right? That follows a unique holistic approach. Let me get into more of that because, you know, we all are different, right? We're all different. We require different needs, right? We're not the same. What Tiffany needs is not what I need. What Dominique needs is something else. What passion needs, it's a whole nother ball game. We're all unique, right? And we have to approach ourselves in that way. We're not the same. It's not the traditional way of doing things, a standard, right? My body at this point can't fit into a box. It can't fit into a standard, right? So I know as a coach, my melanated warrior client, she's deeply vibrant, melanated like myself. Her, her um, cellular nutritional plan is gonna be different than my Caucasian warrior client. I mean, no shade, <laughs> no shade, right? But they have different needs. 
different skin tones, different cells. So I have to approach them in a tailored fashion. Just what it is. You know, they can't be on the same exact plan. Because I want to optimize them getting results, right? So I have to optimize their makeup. So I would follow a unique, holistic approach. Absolutely. The real author, Philip Berrien, is here. Hey, friend, can I give you a, a encouraging hug? I will take it. Hugs. Thank you, Philip. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your hugs. I appreciate it. So the recipe is doing womb healing practices that transform, not change, transform over time the way you think, you consume what you eat, and the way you move. Yes. That's a simple foundation is healing practices that change the way you what? Think, eat, and move. Okay, let's get into more of what that looks like, right? So the old way of doing things, I said that earlier, right? Traditional, standard, things you did before you had fibroids are not going to be the same things you want to do to eliminate fibroids, right? You were working out, you were doing cycle, um, you did um, the bodybuilding industry, you were, you were competing in there, you were doing HIIT workouts, Zumba, whatever you did prior to being diagnosed with fibroids are not going to be the same things that are going to eliminate them. It has to be transformative, it has to be different. It has to be something that gets to the cellular level, right? So fibroid formation, how they form, fibroids growing in your body, how they form is through a it's, it's through a dysfunction down, down at the cellular level. Yeah. So you heard me right. Down to them cells. Cells. C-E-L-L-S. You're a big cell. There's trillions of cells within you. Right? Trillions of cells. So fibroids form on that level. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> hitting the gym, right, and to, to, to get rid, rid of something that's so microscopic, like fibroids, is that really going to work? Changing your diet for something so deep on a microscopic level, is that going to work? A surgery, a treatment, a drug, is that going to work? It's deep, it's deep under, right? So let's get into what the ingredient is. Ingredient number one, ingredient number one. Get your notes out. Again, share this video. Let's get into this. Stop fibroid formation. That's what we're talking about. Yes, shift 5242. Thanks for just joining us. Woohoo, awesome. So first ingredient is doing the right movements. Mm -hmm. Right movements, right exercises. Let me explain why, because you're like, what? What are you talking about? So the key is improving your lymphatic circulation. Your lymphatic circulation is best friends with your immune system, right? People say, oh, strengthen your immune system. What does that mean, right? The lymphatic system is what gets things moving out of your body. So we want to remove the toxins. So movements that help you remove the toxins out of your body. And exercise the areas that the hormones, the excess hormones, like to live in. Like to live in, right? Here, 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 here. The areas that are hard to work or hard to lose that excess fat, those areas, the most vulnerable areas of our bodies, of our feminine bodies, 
where excess hormones like to live in. Those areas need to be exercised, okay? So that also moves into strengthening the pelvic floor and the uterus. The uterus is a muscle, just like your bicep muscle. It needs to be worked. So a typical HIIT workout, a Zumba class, a cycle class, may not be enough to influence the cells in the uterus, right? Especially if you're dealing with bloating, PMS, right? You just notice you gain a lot of weight in the midsection and blindly doing a HIIT workout, it's not gonna be it. It's not going to be it, right? Because you can very well make things worse. You can make things worse. The pain can increase. I hear this a lot from women. I, after my workout, I did a, a row machine. I did some weight training and I feel like I pulled something in my abdomen. I'm having pain there. Well, it's the type of workout you did. That may not be the season for you to be doing those workouts as you are dealing with an ailment on your uterus, right? So workouts that are transformative. And if you are not aware of this, what can happen is the pain gets worse, PMS gets worse, the fibroids continue to grow because that causes more stress to the body, more pain, fuels the fibroids to grow in size and they just get larger and larger. This path many women have been on, including myself. I was a former bodybuilder, competed for years. I did all the workouts you can think of, right? And it, it, it just continued to grow. Like it wasn't, there, there was no stop. It just seems like I was just stressing out my body more and more until I started following a womb wellness workout structure is where I seen the difference. I was able to function, right? Days on my period, I would be laying in bed all day, but I was able to function as I got consistent with this womb wellness workout structure and the pain wasn't as bad. I actually felt energized after the workout versus depleted, right? And I started to see just a huge difference in how I felt. It wasn't, it wasn't the, the fatigue of just working out and having to go to work and just do all these things, but I just had more energy, more energy after the womb wellness workout. So I actually feel that many of our warriors benefit from this structure because it's very unique and depending on where the fibroids are located, these movements cater to that. So that way you're not experiencing pain doing a squat or any type of movement because we have conditioned, we have prepared your body, warmed it up properly, you know, warmed up your womb so you're ready to do these unique movements that are gonna work these areas that are vulnerable to access hormonal chaos. So that is the key. Number one is doing the right workouts, the right movements that are going to move you towards eliminating fibroid problems and strengthening your immune system versus breaking it down, right? So let me know if that makes sense to you on the womb wellness workout structure, how that can be very beneficial in preventing fibroid formation. Our warrior client, Rama, is in the building. Rama, what's up, girl? Rama, too. Let me know any questions. Feel free to drop it in the question bubble, bottom right. Play cold. Yes, this makes so much sense. Okay, great, great. Thank you for sharing. The second ingredient, y'all, the second ingredient when it comes to preventing fibroid formation is what you consume. Yeah, play cold, she's already ready, y'all. I don't know why, y'all need to, look at her. Looking out for our number two ingredient. She's about to make her recipe. 
Wow. Yeah, Sleepy Marie. Hey, loves. So her energy is just very contagious right now. I'm feeling it. Number two. Number two. What is a recipe? What you consume. What you eat, your environment, the energy. But I'm just going to focus on what you eat for this conversation, right? Just keep it simple. So we can't just think that eating a salad, right? You know, you went from eating a regular diet to now you're a plant-based or vegetarian. Just that change alone is going to get rid of fibroids at the microscopic level? No, not at all. And I talked to many women on the fibroid consultations who say, you know what, Phyllis, I switched my diet. I'm now a vegetarian. I take out, I took out meat and I'm not really noticing any results. I feel weaker, tired. My labs are off. And that could be a reflection on what type of diet you're on, how many calories you're taking in, and you may be eating the wrong foods, right? So it's not about changing the diet, but really eating the right foods that are gonna help your cells function better. Because for fibroids to grow in your body, your cells weren't getting what they needed to some capacity. They were not in line with all their moving parts. So nutrition, what you're eating, is, is one way to fuel up your cells so they can work the way they need to work to prevent fibroid formation. So finding the right foods and one of the things that helped me because I've done all types of diets, but when I think about my cells, I think about a cellular approach, it keeps me more in line to staying consistent with a tailored nutritional plan that helps me get rid of inflammation, acidity, things that feed the fibroids. So it's beyond just a vegan, vegetarian, keto diet. It's really finding a customized plan that follows a cellular approach because we're trying to get the cells on the right page because that's where the fibroid formation starts on a cellular level. So it's, it's real deep, it's real deep. And understanding that based on your makeup, you know, the, your environment, your skin color, your history, your labs, all of that needs to be considered when you are um, following a structured eating plan. All of that needs to be considered to make sure it's right. So it's not simply going online and looking up a typical diet plan to say, you know what, is this going to be what I need to eliminate fibroids? One, it's not catered to you. Two, you may have allergies. Three, how do you, how do you measure if that's working for you? Like, how do you know? Cellular approach, you can't go wrong because you're fueling your cells which are different than your friend's cells, right? So a tailored approach to eating is so important, so important. Any question on how a cellular nutritional approach can prevent fibroid formation? Play cold, definitely runs deep. Absolutely, sis, it runs deep. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So the last part of this simple recipe is doing the inner work that will help transform and cultivate your personality over time. The same personality that got you fibroids is not, is not going to be the same personality that's going to eliminate them. I'm just going to be honest with you. Because you can do all these diet plan changes, all these herbs, all this. But if you're still thinking on a level that is not in line with your, the way your body functions, it's going to be, it's going to form a disconnection. Let me give you an example. 
stress is a major trigger. Stress, chronic stress is a major trigger for fibroids. Stress is a major trigger for fibroid formation. And stress can come in many different ways, right? But for this conversation, I'm gonna focus on emotional and mental stress, yes. Because you can be doing all these workouts, you're feeling good, right? Or you can change your diet, you get a little bit more energy, but you still think on a toxic level. You're set doing a lot of self-sabotage, depressed, um, you think very low of yourself, um, you have a very narrow way of thinking, like all of that is the same as eating junk food. If you're thinking on a toxic level, that is equivalent to eating junk food. That's not gonna help. It's not going to help you on your path of eliminating fibroids. Just gonna be honest, right? So you would think that, you know what? I need some help lowering my stress level. Or you may not be aware that you're stressed out, right? We think the day-to-day -day is a normal way of life. You know, hustle and bustle, constantly running to your next, next gig, your next move. Barely have time to eat and sleep. Your social life. You're always on the run, busy, got to make this, got to do this, got to keep it moving. You may not realize that's causing a lot of stress to your body. Your body doesn't understand. Your cells don't understand that you're just trying to, to make this money. It doesn't understand that you're trying to just get to your next appointment and not be late. It doesn't understand that you're no longer thinking about the fight you had with your boyfriend a couple weeks ago. It doesn't know that. So you may think, you know, well, I'm good, you know, I'm good. But internally, at the cellular level, your body is screaming for help. It's screaming. Your cells are like, someone save me, save me. <laughs> Get me out of this body. But you have no idea. You're just walking around like, yeah, okay. Fibroids growing, yeah. Painful sex, oh, that's okay. Heavy periods, oh, that's normal. All of these signs you're getting and you miss them all until the doctor tells you, you know what? You have diabetes. You know what? You have fibroids. But you got all the signs, but the disconnection, which is fueled by stress. So stress plays a huge role. And that is why in our emotional regrounding sessions, I feel many women are able to realize with some help how their day-to-day -day activities or day-to-day -day schedule has produced a lot of stress in their life, which has added to the five boy situation. They did not realize it until they had an open discussion a, a space to, to really share what's going on with them, open up. And sometimes we need that. That's why I feel our emotional regrounding sessions are so valuable because constantly worrying all the time about what the doctor said, what your mom said, and not realizing that is still running in the back of your head, that's going to determine how your cells operate. So it can become very chaotic. Think about hormonal imbalance. Think about chronic inflammation. All of that stuff fuels fibroids to grow, right? So in our emotional regrounding sessions, what we do is help our warriors uproot some of those emotions that they're carrying, that they don't know they're carrying. So that way they can move towards the positive side of healing, which will lower the stress, lower your risk of fibroid formation. Yes. So we want to be at a point where we can measure and track how this is helping our body heal. 
And that's what we do following a unique holistic approach is having a way to track this, this healing work through different modalities other than a MRI or ultrasound, because that's like stepping on a scale. If you're using that to solely track the, the fibroid growth, you could be disappointed because sometimes they are false. They read inaccurately. So having other ways to track your progress is important. That's why we do that here because fibroids is so dynamic. It starts from multiple areas in the body and just relying on an ultrasound or MRI to know if things are working could be could leave you very disappointed, honestly. Just like you step on a scale, you've been working out for the last month and you finally step on a scale and it's 10 pounds heavier. So the scale didn't give you the bigger picture that you are more disciplined now, you're more consistent. You've lost inches, you've gained muscle. The scale. I'm back. The scale is not showing the, the consistency, the, the loss of inches around your waistline. It's not showing how more uh, energized you feel. It's not showing all of that, just like an MRI or ultrasound. It's not giving you the bigger picture. So that's why here in our unique holistic approach, we've adapted other tracking methods to know, to make sure that we are leading you towards a path of fibroid prevention. Yes. So any questions on how following emotional regrounding uh, approach can help you decrease the stress and then further help you decrease your risk of fibroids. Any questions on that? Alicia's here. Hey, oh my God, Play Cold bought a badge. I love you. Play Cold, I need to, I can't wait to meet you. I'm going to meet you someday. <laughs> You're just a major cheerleader. Love you. Um, awesome, awesome. It's Norvis is here. Okay, we got a question. Oh, we got a question from King Philip. We got a we got a masculine in the house. Love you more, play cold. <laughs> so we got Philip in the building. He wants to know how swimming is a good workout, right? How does swimming help you get the best workout? Swimming is total body. It's major conditioning of the heart. So it's definitely a good workout to help your body get rid of excess hormones. It can help uh, metabolize your hormones better. Even as a man, it can help increase your testosterone and it can help build your endurance, your energy. So swimming alone, just a couple laps does a lot because it's just such a high energy type of uh, workout that recruits a lot more um, oxygen from the body. So not only are you bringing in oxygen, but it's, it's letting that out too. So it does a lot on a metab it does a lot on a, um, as far as metabolism, right? So I would say make that two, three times a week, couple that with some weight training and some functional training, mobility, stretching. You got a complete recipe, uh, Philip, of just healing fitness. Yeah, mind, body, soul. So thanks for your question. All right. So y'all, just to kind of recap, the key is doing practices that encourage cellular waste because for your cells not to be function, functioning appropriately, they may not have all their moving parts. A lot of waste buildup, inflammation. So practices that are going to encourage cellular waste, garbage buildup, right? Because, hey, hey, you know what? <laughs> when you go get a surgery to remove fibroids, right? So they take it off, right? Cut them off. 
you're left with, you know, imprint scar tissue, you know, and that forms into a scar or hardened scar. If it's not exercised appropriately, there's going to be an imprint of the incisions and that can create roadblocks to pregnancy and not following a an approach that's going to get down to the microscopic level, a unique holistic approach. These fibroids are just going to grow back, grow back like, hello, I'm back. Right? So you're done playing that game. You're done playing that game of myomectomy one, two, three, four. And then by the time you know it, you're ready to do a hysterectomy because you don't want to deal with it. And not realizing that a hysterectomy is not all what it seems to be. You're literally taking out a whole unit. It's like taking out the engine out of your car. You know, how is it going to run? So you're going to be running differently. There's, there's just more to a hysterectomy than it being a baby house. Oh, I don't want any kids. It has nothing to do with that. The uterus has multiple functions on a mental, emotional, spiritual level. Find a sanitation from Ghana. What's up, sis? So doing practices that eliminate waste, right? Garbage that are feeding these fake fibroid cells are all entailed in a unique holistic approach because you may not be familiar with how the body works, right? And you don't have time to figure that all out, right? Um, it's a lot of energy. And depending on your situation, you want to start now as the fibroids are small to get rid of them using a unique holistic approach. Like you don't want to waste any time, right? You went to your last ultrasound and it's the same old thing, surgery, drugs. You're sick and tired of hearing that. It's like you're starting to see robots because <laughs> you keep hearing the same thing over and over again. Treatment, well, treatment's temporary. I, I got a treatment already, it didn't work, right? Fibroids grew back. Birth control, oh no. I mean, like birth control, it's birth control. Are you trying to control not getting pregnant, right? It's, it's not an ideal use to prevent fibroids, you know, um, relieve fibroids in any way without major, major consequences. And it's like, do I really want to put my body through that? Do I really want to do that? And who knows? You just got off birth control and then you find out you have fibroids. Hmm. Is that connected? I'm going to leave that there. So deep down inside, you know that fibroids can be eliminated and you need help getting there. You're ready to take that next step and invest, right? You're ready to take that next step and invest in yourself for long-term results. I want you to send me a DM, learn more. DM learn more because I know how frustrating it can be to be suffering with fibroids and realize there's not much information about how to naturally get rid of them. Realize that many women are dealing with this. You share it to one friend. She says, oh yeah, I'm dealing with it too. I just got surgery, but they grew back. I'm just trying to get by right now. And it's like, that's not okay. That's not okay. We should not have to be suffering with this. Right. And again, that is why this is my passion to help empower women, not just make them aware. Right. It's fibroid awareness month. And, you know, we, we are we're aware, but it's really about being empowered to take action, unique action. Right. The right recipe to get to the results the right recipe to get to the microscopic level. That is you, you're that woman, you're that person, you're ready, you're that queen. That's like, you know what, I've had it. Let me get someone else to do it. And you want that handheld support to take it to the next level. 
DM me, learn more. Play cold. It's like you're literally speaking to me. Lord, Lordy, yes, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. It, it's, it's that time. Sleepy Marie. I want I went to the ER two weeks ago for a chronic cough, only to be admitted for my hemoglobin. Yeah, that's common with fibroids, low hemoglobin, especially if you're dealing with heavy bleeding. The guns are trying to shove a hysterectomy on me because my fibroids are too big and moving my uterus a bit. Gotcha. So love, how do you feel about that? And the guns, she's referring to the doctors. I don't know. Have you felt this big push for doing things that you don't want to do? Have you felt this, this energy of getting opinions from others that don't align with yours? This energy, this resistance that you feel is your intuition talking to you. And I'm not here to say, don't do this, don't do that. But I do want to empower you with information to say, you know what? Is this setting me up down a path that's in alignment with my vision, my goals? Fertility. Two, three, four myomectomies is going to get in the way of fertility. <laughs> Let's just be honest, right? Have you tried a unique holistic approach? Not a holistic uh, plan where, you know, you're just doing things that you call holistic and just kind of bunched it together. But having the right recipe to say, you know what, have I really followed a unique holistic approach? If your answer is no, then maybe this is a time. This is a time to say, you know what, I need to be guided. I need a community. I need support. I know there is ingredients in this recipe that I am not familiar with that I may be missing, which are not giving me results. I don't know how to track the results. How do I know if it's working? All of that could be overcame. It could be answered. It could be addressed, giving you results in the unique holistic approach. So let's see, we got another question here. Thank you, Queen, so much for all you do. Truly, you're an angel sent from heaven. We appreciate this recipe and you all. Thank you so much, Play Cold. That's so sweet of you. So yeah, I hope you got some gems, some takeaways. An idea, what is needed in the recipe to prevent fibroid formation? Because you're sick and tired. Sick and tired. It's time to say, you know what? Let me just trust a process that has been proven, that I've seen work with others by someone who has been down this path before, right? If that is you, I will meet you in the DM. Learn more. Thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. And I appreciate this community. Fiberweight Queen would not be where it is without you, you know, just come in full ears, ready to take notes, bring in this energy, play cold, thank you. And all of you guys that have been here from the start, major love, major love, thank you. So I will see you on the next live. Thanks for joining.